today I'm going to show you how the Hadza get their water and how they drink it. They source water from a few water holes and other natural means. This is a seasonal river. In the rain season, the river is flooded. It's a sun river, so when it's raining, the sun sucks water and stores it. So it rained yesterday, and today they are going to dig and find water. It's the beginning of the rain season, so they find water almost everywhere in the river. But in the dry season, there are few places where they can dig and find water. So, to know if there is water underground, they use a stick or an arrow. They just penetrate it through the sand, and if the stick or an arrow is wet, then there is water. It's just sand, so they don't need any special tools or equipment for digging. Just hands. So from here they cannot dig anymore, so they just have to wait for the water to come up. It goes very slowly, so they'll have to wait for a few minutes to get enough water to drink. So because it was just the first rain, so there is no a lot of water underground. So that's why they have to wait for a few minutes. But if it will rain for two or three more times, they'll not have to wait for such long. This man is the chief of the village and he explains that they have to dig the hole to get water but sometimes they have to wait for a few minutes so that they'll have enough water to drink. So drinking water sometimes it needs passion. They depend on the nature for each and everything. So whatever they need, they find it in the nature. But sometimes it takes time to get what they need.
it seems it's enough to drink so the chief goes first This is the thing the Azabe used to fetch and drinking water. For them it's like a cup. It's calabash. So they can use it to store the water, but they can use it as a cup. So they use it to fetch and drink. So the chief says that after they are done drinking water, they don't have to leave the hole open, so they have to cover it with the sand so that baboons cannot drink the water because in the area there are a lot of monkeys and baboons. So they have to put the sand back so that other animals like baboons and monkeys cannot drink their water. So next time they are thirsty, they'll just come and drink it.